Zach Brown Band. That's an awesome, awesome song. Colder weather. <laughs> From uh, You Get What You Give, Get You Some. It's good stuff. It's 8.33 at WEZL, 27 till. I, I want to thank uh, Bridget this morning for the uh, relaxing few moments yesterday in the chair. Where mm-hmm. is that? Mm. Excuse me? What are you talking mm-hmm. about? What Where? chair were you in yesterday? Mm. <laughs> No wonder you called me so late last night. No, 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 no. I had a had a meeting up in North Charleston yesterday, but I I I had um, become very frustrated with my hair. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize how bad it looked until you started filming everything in here. Yeah. And I was showing my wife one of the videos, and she goes, "Ooh, look at that." And I did. And I was like, "Oh God, that's awful." So I was. Um, Trying to decide what to do with it, and I've been downloading pictures all week of different guys' haircuts and trying to figure out what Don't to do. Don't you like with mine? No. Oh. And <laughs> your um, picture wasn't downloaded. <laughs> no, I didn't download your picture. No fuss, no muss, man. No. Just you know. And you I just... saw Robbie Con Cannon in here yesterday, and I said, "Well, he's got the same peaks and valleys I got, but I'm not going to do that because I don't like that either." And then I saw, "Oh, I like John Travolta's hair," and I went, "Now he's got he's bald now." Mm-hmm. So I'm not bald. I just got peaks. I got a crown, you know, right there. So is that the, does your stylist consider that kind of a comb over a little bit? What you got there? Their mm-hmm. their hair growing out of that area. I can't believe you even went down that path. No, it's not a comb over, and yes, there is hair. So what did she say? Uh, nothing. She just said, uh, "Well, let's did she let's mess hair? with it." Yeah, she cut it all off. No, she didn't. Well, you she missed it. a lot. Are you crazy? <laughs> she, she might, that there was a pile around the chair. What are you talking about? Does it look to you, Ricky, like she cut all of his hair off? I didn't even notice that you got a haircut. I didn't either. Well, see, then it was a good haircut. Oh. Because we sat down, and she wet it, and she cut it, and then she took me over after we were satisfied with the length and then washed it. Mm-hmm. She washes your hair? After it's cut. A lot of people will, most people will wash it before. Your washes your hair. They'll wash, yeah, they'll wash it when you first walk in, and then they'll cut it. And that, that's not good. Uh-huh. Uh, all the experts online say you should cut the hair and then wash it. I agree with that. Uh, so she did, and then we came back, and then she did a little, and did a little, that, and did a little that, and they gave me a glass of wine, and the doggy jumped up in my lap. <laughs> well, mm. Farley doesn't give you a glass of wine. Where do you go to the barber shop? It's right over across the street by Whole Foods. And then a dog is it jumped a in your salon, lap. Yeah, they got they got a dog. You said a dog jumped yeah, in your lap. Yeah, they got a little dog named Gizmo. He looked like one of those mop. Looks like a dust mop. Uh huh. And he didn't have any nostrils when he was born. He had to have surgery and have have nostrils because they were too small. <laughs> so you go to. And they said that he would uh, he'd be playing with the other dogs and then he just and he couldn't breathe. Pass, he just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> and they thought he was playing like a trick. It was a trick he was doing. He just couldn't breathe. And then they figured out this dog's dying. He can't breathe. <laughs> so they took and had laser surgery and opened up his nose. And now he's just the funniest little thing you've ever oh, seen. His name's Gizmo. How about that? Uh, got a terrible underbite. All right. But he was just sweet as he can be. He hopped up my lap, and I'm playing with my dog and drinking my wine. She's washing my hair, and I'm going, well, now I know why women like to do this. I have, I have, I have been to a lot of barbershops in yeah. my life, and I have never, ever gotten a glass of wine at a barbershop. Well, I hadn't either. But I walked in, the lady I've said. I've never had a dog jump in my lap at a barbershop. lady said, let, let me have your coat. And I said, all right, thank you very much. She goes, would you like something to drink? And I said, like, what do you mean? Because I was hoping she'd say, like, you know, 18-year-old McCallum or something. <laughs> or a Coke. Or a, yeah, well, that's what she said. Uh, Coke, Diet Coke, and, uh, you know, that, not tea or uh, wine. Or, I said, yeah, I'll have a wine. Because I didn't know what that, it was a new place. I didn't know what they were going to do to my hair. When you go to a new place, you don't know what they're going to do. So this is the lady you've been going to for a while that, that's the hairdresser of the stars. Well, no, I couldn't find her. I, I, I lost track of Pat. She, she, was, she travels all the time. These, uh-huh. Uh, like Universal Studios and ABC and NBC, these people will hire her to come to the location, and, and they'll send her out on a movie shoot somewhere mm-hmm. for two or three months at a time, and then you don't know when she's gone and when she's back. And so I've lost her. I left her a message. I said, you know, if you ever, you know, come back to Charleston, I'd like to talk to you. But in the meantime, my hair looked really bad, so I had to get something done with it, and I went over, and, and I'm just thrilled that you guys couldn't even tell it was cut. No, well, we couldn't. Mm-mm. Well, they go, want to have, uh, go back and look at yesterday's videos. You can tell. I will. <laughs> yeah. May want to have Judy check the videos, make sure. Mm. No, she did. It's all good now. You're good. It's all good now. But I, I, I really enjoyed. Well, it looks it. like she did some layering in the back. Was that part of it? I don't so know. I can't see back there. No, I, it does. She look didn't good. even it's hand me. You know, she didn't even hand me the mirror. And you know how they turn you around and hand you a mirror and tell you to look at it. I never have understood that. What am I looking at? Just to make sure the back is and, taken you know, care of. Well, what's it, what good's it going to do at that, that stage of the game? Well, they maybe they'll shape it up a little bit. They want you to see how nice. They're the experts. I'm not. 
if 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 I could do it myself, I wouldn't have come in here. But they want they want your approval. Once right. they're finished, they want. Well, I give approval. her a tip. That's my approval. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't give her a tip. So, buddy, doesn't wash your hair, Gary? No, no, that'd be a waste of soap, wouldn't it? But he does not wash. But now he he could spit and rub his they elbow. Will, they over. will take a water bottle and spit, spit my hair to cut it some. You know, if it's real long. They if got, your hair gets real long. Well, yeah. he's he's paying sixteen dollars a haircut. They oh got to do my something. Goodness. Here, spray some water on it. Make I, him think you did something. When Gary goes, they do a wonderful job with my hair. When Gary goes to the barber, I picture it's that uh, you know, like um. The Bugs Bunny cartoon yeah. where, where uh, Elmer Fudd sitting in the chair and Bugs Big hops Arnold. up on the it's head. It's the Figaro thing. And, he, and he's uh, massaging his scalp. <laughs> With his feet. And his feet and his hands. Yeah, that's what that woman was doing to me yesterday. <laughs> and, then, and then the chair gets jacked up real high. Exactly. Yeah, it was. It was really great. I, and then the dog jumped in my lap. Oh, and you an had experience. wine. And I had wine. It was great. Really. Now, <laughs> total.